So we're here on a vinyl job that, uh, let's see, I guess it's been about a week and a half since I've done it. Uh, the vinyl and carpet in this, in this mobile home. And um, the customer called and said there was some bubble. So I'm not sure why we got this bubble. I guess you can see it right there, I hope. It goes from about right here almost to the end of the up there to the carpet so I'm going to show you guys how to take care of that um, I'm not too uh, thrilled about having issues like that I was using the Novelist glue that Shaw actually recommended for the vinyl they sent the glue with the vinyl and um, I've just not been too thrilled with the Novelist glue. This is not the first time I've had an issue with something like this um, using that glue. So I think I'm going to stop using it. I don't know if you call it Novelist or Novalis, just however you want to pronounce it. But either way, um, I've had a couple issues out of it with LVP and vinyl. So I think I'm just going to stop using that kind of glue there's no reason for a bubble to be right here at all i don't know why it's there um, it would kind of make sense if it was on a corner or something but with it just being out in the open like that there's no reason for that whatsoever so i don't know what's up with that except for uh and you can tell see how it takes a second for it to come back up and it is trying to stick. The glue's just not tacky enough to hold it. So I know there is glue there. So what I'm going to do, I have one of these syringes. Excuse the noise. And um, they, what it is, they come with a big needle. Let me set this down so I can use it again. And um, they come with a big needle, and this one actually says it is crane uh, for carpet and vinyl repairs. But if you're in a place, for instance, when I lived in Tennessee, there was no carpet ware uh, supply warehouses. So if you're in a place in a small town or something like that where they don't have supply warehouses, I was using these in Tennessee as well. And um, co-op has the same exact thing. As a matter of fact, I'm sure that's what these are. They probably just bought a bunch of them and put their sticker on there. But these are actually for giving medicine shots to cows and horses and so on. So they got a big needle and You can even see right there, it says Vita Needle. So that's exactly what they've done. They just bought a bunch of these and put their sticker on it and saying that that's what it's used for. I guess they found out that that's what people was doing and they wanted to make some profit on it. So, but they're actually for giving injections to horses and cows and etc. So again, if you're not in a place where, uh, there is supply warehouses. Go to co-op. That's where I was getting them when I was in Tennessee. And um, so what I want to do is um, I got some of this Taylor seam sealer. I'm not using the glue because it takes too long to set up this seam sealer right here. Um, it's going to be it's going to set up faster and get a hold of the vinyl faster rather than using um, a glue I won't have to sit and keep rolling and rolling and rolling forever so I just want to take put me some in there it's not going to you ain't got to get crazy and I will demonstrate that here in just a second so just like any other needle and uh, syringe you don't want to uh, have a bunch of air in it whenever you go to push it underneath there you're just going to push air under the vinyl and, and cause a, the bubble 
harder to go down. So you want to do that, tip it upside down, just like you would any other syringe or anything. You're probably going to want to have a rag handy when you do this because it's probably going to come out just a little bit. I'm going to push up on the syringe and push the air out right there. Okay. Until glue starts coming out the top, then that's going to let me know I'm all good to go. Okay, there it is. Okay. Now, I want to show you here. I'm going to point that down a little bit and do a little demonstration here. Um, this is representing under the under the vinyl so what I want to do is I'm just going to show you I'm going to put just a little bit there see that right there just to show how much you need and how much you don't need if you do too much it's just going to squeeze out so if I put a whole bunch down there it's going to squeeze out right here at the edge of the carpet and make a mess and uh, <laughs> If it was up by the wall, it would be uh, it would do it by the wall. So, guys, that little bitty dab right here. Let me see here. That little bitty dab. Watch this. Whenever I, I'm gonna act like this is the vinyl, and I squeezed it underneath there, and then I'm gonna roll it with the roller. And watch this. Watch how much coverage we got out of that little bit. See how big of an area that little dab covered. So. We don't need a whole lot of glue to go underneath here. So, and you want to start at one end. Mine starts right here. So, if you'll notice that this syringe needle is chiseled, see that? So, I want to put it in with the chiseled edge down to the floor, okay? So, this real fine point. And I'm going to go, sorry about the noise, and we'll go right here, watch this, at an angle, okay? There we go, I'm in, right there. Now I'm going to shoot me some in there. Did you see the plunger move right here? And I'm going to hold my finger right there. Now I'm going to take my roller and push that up, and I'm going to push that glue. I'm going to push the glue right down there. Oh. You see that? That's what we didn't want to happen. So we've got to be real careful about that. That was too much glue. Okay, so I'm going to roll back this way then. I'm going to go and I'll just roll side to side. Because I don't want to push no more of that. I don't want to push no more of that out on the carpet right there. Luckily that nap is going to cover that. Got lucky there. Well, well. Did my Z-bar here. Whenever I put my vinyl down. Because because there's underlayment. I didn't want to set my Z-bar on the underlayment. So if you can see, I only have the nap of the carpet covering the edge of the vinyl. See there? The Z-bar is actually on the floor, not the underlayment, but on the floor. So what happened right there, it just squeezed out underneath the nap. I think it's going to be okay. But still, that's not good. So what I'm going to do is just keep rolling that for a minute. hole right here where I put the syringe in where I put the glue in watch see that it squeezed out right there you see that so it squeezed out that end and it squeezed out this end so now I know I have glue fresh glue under the complete length of that bubble so now I just want to roll it see that it's getting air under it right there Yeah. So it's under there. It's going to take that stuff a few minutes to get tacky. And uh, what I'm going to do until then, I'm going to take a board, a piece of this, 
As a matter of fact, I'll just take a, one of these and set right there. And then I'm going to set some weight on that, and that'll hold that down flat so it starts to set up. Rather than me sit here and continue to roll it like that. Right there, it's a case of caulking. That should be enough weight to hold that. Okay, so it may have been about, I don't know, eight or ten minutes since I put the uh, box and weight up on the, the uh, bubble there whenever I was, after I put glue under it. And as you can see, this is where it was. It went all the way down. See, there's a little bit where it squeezed out a while ago. So it went all the way down somewhere right in here and let me switch and get some light on it so you can see it it is perfectly flat now so that's how you take care of a bubble these two boards that I put the same solder on a while ago just for the demonstration to show how far one little drop would do um, I was using these I just kept them together to keep the mess and um, setting weights on them to put on the bubble there and just to, just to show the uh, power of that same shot I want you to watch pulling it apart listen look at that it actually tore the top layer of the underlayment off. That's how good that stuff works. That's why I choose to use seam sealer for uh, a little repair like this because it's it's just the seam sealer is stronger than the glue because that's why they use it on seams if it was if the glue was better then I wouldn't even recommend putting seam sealer down there to begin with so the seam sealer is a lot stronger and it sets up a lot faster to hold your seam in position and stuff like that so that's why I um, I will use the seam sealer for little repairs like that right there versus the glue in the vinyl once again these are my three tools I used a wet rag to wipe up the excess a syringe my roller here to to roll the roll it down <clears throat> and um, Taylor 2062 <coughs> now this completely depends on what kind of uh, vinyl you're working with as you can see this is for um, fiberglass sheet goods so you're going to want to get now the I don't even know if they make the paperback vinyl anymore the regular uh, st old stuff but pretty much everything I lay now is the fiberglass vinyl so that's why I chose that same seller so and as you can see, let me see here, the weight's been off of it for a minute now. And it still looks good. So, if you have any problems with getting um, bubbles out, or if you have a bubble in your vinyl job when you're done, um, that's how you take care of it without folding it back out of the glue or anything like that. And you cannot see anywhere i don't even know where it was now somewhere in this vicinity here it was just a little bit past um this line where i stuck the needle in and because that is a seam sealer when i pulled my needle out glue squeezed back out of that as you seen a while ago how it squeezed out here and it squeezed out there so because the seam sealer squeezed out the hole it sealed that little bitty hole back up where the needle went in so you'll never have to worry about that little pinhole um, collecting dirt or anything like that if you're working with a white vinyl because it's going to be sealed back up from the sealer as it squeezes out.
So that's how you take care of it. Maybe that'll help somebody. And thanks for watching. And um, again, if you've uh, come to my channel seeking help and you found help, please hit the subscribe button below and um, show your appreciation. And also, if you live in southern Arizona and you would like Floors by Southern Boys to come install for you, go to Bobby Joe's Rugworks and ask for the Southern Boys and they will hook you up.